Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth well, and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning. This is going to be straight to the point. When we read these scriptures, I always say I want brothers to have the full, and sisters, the full spectrum of what was going on when Yahweh was on the scene. We speak about Esau. Esau is our main enemy. But we also speak about our own nation. Who was Yahweh catching the most hell from? Was it actually the Romans? It was by his own people. Okay? That's why it's important you read Matthew 23, um, the book of Luke, certain books of Luke as well, John 8 and 44, and other scriptures that Yahweh they constantly look. Not all the Pharisees were wicked. And we know that because Paul himself was a Pharisee. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He was just a doctor of the law. But you had wicked of our people that were of the Pharisees and the chief priests that didn't want to leave Yahweh Shai alone. They kept in scheming on him. Okay, they set up false witnesses. When Yahweh Shai was perfect, he was innocent. So if that's happening, if that happened back then, it's going to happen now. It is happening now. Okay, so we're going to go straight to, and I just want to go into a few scriptures that go into them accusing Yahweh Shai falsely. We're going to start off on John 2 and 19, Baba Kasha. Okay, this is John 2 and 19. And it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Okay. And what's your temple? Your temple is your body, which your spirit dwells in, which our spirit dwells in. So this is what Yahweh Shai said to the wicked Jews. Okay. Rented the Jews. 14, 6 years. So 46 was this temple in building. And will that rear it up in three days? Okay. So again. They were being carnal, okay, and they were fast to jump to conclusions, okay. So let's read that again. Rents of the Jews, 40 and 60 years, was this temple in building? And will I rear it up in three days? So their whole mindset, hold on a minute. This took 40 years, 46 years to build, and you could knock it down, you just go raise it up again. They were accusing him of what? Terrorism, okay. And really, they were carnal. The, the spirit wasn't dealing with them. Ren, bear me just a minute. Ren said the Jews, 40 and 6 years was his temple in Buddha. And would that rare it up in three days? But he spake of a temple of his body, which was what the crucifixion, what he resurrected. Okay? When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples, remember, he had, that he had said this unto them. And they believed the scripture, the word which Yahweh had said. Okay, and this is what Yahweh was doing now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day. Many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did, so many more were believing. Okay, and what was that? That was by his works. No, we don't boast in works, but the works they were seen, so more people they believed they were converted. But Yahweh did not commit himself unto them, so there was even some Yahweh he didn't commit himself unto them. Because he knew, he knew what was in man. Because he knew all men. He had a high level of discernment. And some men, look, I'm not going to take this. I want to say, I want to, I want to say it like this. Um, just because a man's younger in the faith, it doesn't mean he doesn't have any discernment. And you thinking like that, you're thinking wrong. Because certain men have high levels of discernment. So Yahweh knew that. Yahweh knew who he, who believed. Why did John the Baptist say, who warned you to flee, you vipers, when they came to his baptism? Because John the Baptist had enough discernment to see what was in them. 
Okay? Am I John the Baptist? No. But there's men that have discernment, so you can't count out men that are young in the truth because they see particular things. And just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean that man don't see it. Okay? Because he knew all men, and he did not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Because Yahweh he had the highest level of spiritual discernment. That's why when he said to Peter three times, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, what did Peter say? Peter was grieved the third time because Yahweh Shai was all knowing. Okay? So that's why when Yahweh Shai was saying, Do you love me? So like you're three times. That would mess with that mess with Peter's psyche because Yahweh Shai was all knowing. So that was like a question of his what? His morals, his integrity. Okay, so let's go straight to John 10 and 18. We're going to link this up with John 10 and 18. This truth ain't all cookies and cream. Okay, I want brothers to see the bigger picture. You know, and if you're spiritual, you're going to receive it. But I'm going to say this again. Just because you got great mill, There's men that are not in great millstone that are of the elect. There's going to be men that are in IUIC. Guess what? You might not like to hear it. Some of them are going to come out of your IUIC. They might not even join Great Millstone, but they still teach that same doctrine. So guess what? If they endure to the end, they're of the elect. Because this is what I want to say. There's um there's a saying. There's bad fruits in every every. I forgot what it. I forgot what it is. Hold on. There's bad fruit in some trees. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Even in the world, you have the good and you have the bad. So to say everybody that's in the camp is just, yeah, you're warring Great Mill. I don't think like that. I'm in Great Millstone camp. I'm going to make it. No. Because you could still be in a camp but be wicked as hell. Okay. Scheming on brothers. Lying. Malicious. Just all types of stuff. Now I keep on saying this. How do you know that none of them chief priests or Pharisees crept up in Great Millstone? Well... This is what's happening because what? They're going to be persecuting the men or the Lord. And these men are going to be in higher positions. The men that are going to be persecuting other men, they're going to be in higher positions. And they're going to have what? The love of this world. Okay? And they're going to be persecuting the ones that are actually speaking the truth, that are not holding back. Okay? Yahweh what he saw, he called it out. Whatever he saw, he called it out. He was not partial. Okay, he was not corrupt, he did not take bribes. Okay, he dealt justly along with the other prophets. So let's go to John 10 and 18 when he spoke of his body. Give me just a minute. John 10 and 18. Now let's start at verse 16. And other sheep, bear me just a minute, start at 17. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life. And that's what a true prophet's going to do. He's going to lay down his life. Okay, he ain't going to be sitting back, going missing for 10 days, for, for a week. I mean, the apostle said that. That's not a prophet. And it's so, this is so um, spiritual, everything that's happening. Because more is coming out. Even the apostle... Elder Apostle Taha says, what did he say? It's best that brothers that are new in and not, are not even on fire, it's better that they, they don't even attend the Passover. Why was that said? Was that just Apostle Elder Apostle Taha? Was that his opinion? No, that was the spirit of Yahweh speaking through him. Because he knows there's things that are going on in Great Millstone. I just want brothers and sisters to see what's really going on. Okay? It's not all that you think it to be, this truth. It's not all that you... It's, the truth is beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yahweh Shai is beautiful. His word is beautiful. But you have to come to the reality that... It's not all you think that it is. Okay? Everybody's just going to like you. No, there's going to be men in the truth that conspire against you. Let's go to John 10 and... 17, therefore doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. Okay? 
So that was that saying. Remember he said that he raised it up in three days? Why? Because he had power to do that. No man take it for, no man take it from me. Okay? So no matter what you do, you're not gonna stop this words. Okay? No matter what you do. Even in death, we're still victorious. But I lay down of myself. I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down. Because as a as a god, that's the true definition of a god. You're able what to control life. Okay. And I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received on my father. There was a division there. Therefore, again, among the Jews for these sayings. So there was a division. You see? And the division between the Jews, you actually had Sadducees and the Pharisees that would team up. Even though they had different... This is how, this is how much the hatred was for Yahweh Shai. So you've got individuals that don't even... They don't even agree on the same doctrine, but they came together with one purpose to try and overthrow Yahweh Shai. So there was a division amongst them. And many of them said, he have a devil, he is mad. Why you hear him? And it's the same in this truth. Yeah, the boy, he's, he's mad and don't listen to him. You know, he's talking rubbish. But that's only to your own condemnation. Okay? Because the words we speak is the script, is, is, is the words of Yahweh Shai. So if you've got a problem with these words I'm saying, that means you have a problem with Yahweh Shai. It's not me, it's just that men personalize it. Okay? I've said, these are not the words of him that have a devil. So there was... But between these two groups, there were some saying, nah, this is a man of the Lord. These are not the words of, of a devil, <laughs> of a demon. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? So can a devil do that? In other words, can, a, can Satan cast out Satan? No. Only a righteous spirit can do that. So that, that's what this individual in, in was basically saying. A devil can't cast out a devil. You show me a madman that casts out a demon out of another madman. So this is what Yahweh was going through and this is what this truth. You're not going to be loved. So get that out of your head. We're not going to be loved. Let's go to Luke 20 and 20. If everybody's speaking good of you, that would make me uncomfortable. Not to say men are not going to speak well of you. But if everybody is speaking well of you, that's a problem. You really need to question yourself and fast and ask yourself, are you a man of the Lord? Because the ancient prophets, from what I'm reading, <laughs> the ancient prophets, there was things they were going through. They were hated. They were not loved by the world. Okay? It was only a few that could receive their words. And the few that could receive their words, they were of the elect. They were not trying to garnish no vain glory. Oh no, we shouldn't bring that out. Or we're going to lose our followers. We're going to lose money. You know? That's corruption. That's not a true judge. Okay. Let's go to Luke 20 and 20. And it says, and they, bear me just a minute. Let's start at. Seventeen, and he beheld them and said, "What is this that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, Yahweh Shai, because our people reject Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh." When it says, "Look, oh, man, this is what our people are doing, rejecting Yahweh Shai." Remember, he was despised and rejected of men. The same has become the head of the corner. Okay, and he's the head of the church. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. So, again, when I'm doing videos. It's not where I wake up and I'm thinking, who, who, who am I going to annoy? It's all for the spirit. But guess what? Yahweh Shai, he was that stone and many people are being broken upon that stone. Because that's the what? That's the shifting process. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it shall grind him to powder. Okay? And the chief priests and the scribes the same hour sought to lay hands on him. So why did they sought to lay hands on Yahweh Shai that same hour? Because it applied to them. They perceived, obviously it applied to them or they would not have tried to lay hands on him. So they wanted to get physical. And they fed the people. For they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies. So it's going to be the same thing today. So if reincar reincarnation exists, we know that. So 
these same men are back here today and they're in the truth. They're not out of the truth. They're in, well, they're in the truth, okay? But not the truth, not the truth of the gospel because they, if they were really in the truth, they would accept Yahweh Shai. But should I say they crept up in the truth for their own condemnation? There's only going to be a few men really speaking the true words of Yahweh Shai, not holding back because of emotions. The scriptures say, Jeremiah, um, in Jeremiah, be not afraid of their faces, speak my words. Sometimes, certain this, there's a lot of things we keep in that we don't mention, but there's a time and a place. Okay? And certain times we bring it out at that certain time in a certain place. It's all according to the Spirit. And they sent forth spies. So who sent five false spies? The Jews. Different spies. So it's the same in this truth today. You have men that will say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to set you up. You're going to do this for me. Watch this guy, you know? Take his information. Get his IP address. That's cool. I already know that. I already know, I already know you're watching me. But Yahushua is watching you. That's what you don't understand. I already know you're spying on me. You've got guys raising their eyebrows when they watch my videos. Because it's not for them. Yahushua is an offense to them. How can you say you love Yahweh you are a servant for Yahweh but when Yahweh tells you about the wicked of our people, you turn up your nose or you turn up your eyebrows? That's because Yahweh is a stumbling block to many. Let's continue. Luke 20 and 20. Okay, and they should, which should feign themselves just... So there's, hold on a minute. So there's men in this truth that are feigning themselves to be just men. Let's quickly go into that word, Baba Kashar. Mirma. 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 So when you go into that word feign, deceit, treachery. Because these are men that are willing to give you into the authorities or set up any type of false allegation so they can give you in. That's a real sturdy load scumbag. Craft, subtlety, treachery, fraud, false, guile, fraudulent. Deceptive, so you have deceptive men in this truth, in high places and in low places. I'm not going to put out any names because that's that's not for me to do. That's for you to be spiritual. I'm giving you the clues, and I've been doing this for the last year, even longer. I don't even want to say yeah, years, because even before I came into the camp, I noticed certain things, certain traits. If you were them, if you were them same individuals that were persecuting Yahweh Shai, you can't really turn back time. Okay, all you can do is ask for forgiveness. But the same men, you're not going to change them. They're going to be doing the same thing today. They were doing the same thing with Yahweh Shai. Okay, just men, so they feign themselves. They pretend to be just men, but really they're wicked. Matthew 23. Inside they are full of extortion, excess. That's why Yahweh Shai said, clean the outside first, that the inside may be um, so like clean the inside first, that the outside may be clean. Inwardly, they are full up of what? Dead man's bones. Demons swimming about in their inward parts. All up in their mind. You can't sleep well. Why? Because they've done evil to other brothers in the truth. Me, I can sleep some, somewhat well. <laughs> the, the, depends. Most of the time. Why? Because my conscience is clear. Knowing I'm repenting. Knowing I'm, I'm, I'm striving to do the right thing. But the more you buck up against his truth, the more you're only coming up against Yahweh Shai. Especially if you're bucking up against his men. Just men that they might take hold of his words. So they feign themselves just men that they may take hold of his words. So it's the same thing today. Don't just think, oh, this was 2,000 years ago. That was then. Same thing's happening today. Yeah, you got men, you know, set up other men. Yeah, study him. Do this. Do that. Watch this video. You know, get his address. Find out where he is. Let's set up false witnesses. They done the same thing to Yahweh Shai. That they might deliver him unto the power and the authority of the governor. So who today? Who would that? That would be the Romans. So you have men in this truth that will be willing to give you up unto the authorities. That's why Yahweh said, you of your father the devil and the lust of your father will you do. This is real. 
I'm not just making this up. This is real. Okay. And when they can't really um, they can't win. They can't beat you. So what what what's the last um, what's the last thing they resort to? Is character assassination, but it's not gonna work. Okay, it's not going to work. So if it says that they may deliver him unto the power and the authority of the governor, that would means they had some type of they had a high position in this kingdom. They were paid off. They were bribed. They had a high position. They knew people in high places. Okay. So this is a whole part of the truth. This is the full spectrum. Do you, do you think I want to do lessons like this? A lot of the time I don't. But it has to be done. Because if I wouldn't do these lessons. Then I wouldn't be warning the people. What to look out for. The reason why certain men are not growing in this truth. Is because certain men are not teaching you the full, the full spectrum. It should, it should get to that point where you're doing a video and a brother, brothers want to know, oh, what's he going to say next? That's how it should be. That's why the people trembled when prophets came to their town or wherever it was. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.